All right, how's it going today, folks? So uh, I want to make a video here that uh, I guess about the subject that everybody's talking about. Uh, it's about uh, Kirk Franklin had got into an altercation with his son. I guess, you know, cussed him out and uh, it was recorded on, uh, on you know, on, the vi on video, okay? And it went viral. And there was a lot of mixed feelings on uh, this subject. So I just probably want to speak a little bit on that. And a couple of things that, you know, um, like, you know, a couple of maybe one or two verses on that. Uh, and also about uh, probably me making peace with your family and just family in general. And maybe I could just share you a little bit of my uh, uh, my story here. OK, so uh, I guess this was over the weekend. I'm not sure, uh, but uh, I started seeing these different videos about um, Kurt Franklin that was on the phone conversation. I don't know what's all uh, talked about, okay? And they did have a termo, uh, ter uh, tumultuous relationship for many, many years now, okay? Uh, about what, I don't know. But he did, um, Kurt Franklin did say maybe, well, okay, he did say some pretty vulgar wor words, all right? And I got to hear the conversation actually earlier uh, today. I just heard about it. And I was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Um, hey, <sighs> man. Um, all I can say is this. Um, I just think that, I, okay, let's just say like this. You know, I've had times where I've had some disagreements with family uh, and so forth. Okay, very close family members and all that stuff. But, and some friends or whatever, but many of them that I do make peace with. There's some that I'll have peace, but I don't think I want to really have to, anything to do with them for my sake. Okay, uh, but I do want to be a well-wisher or whatever, okay? I don't like to have hate for a person, okay? Because I don't like to be enemies with somebody, okay? So I have to be more condescent of that. I think with this experience, uh, with this experience, many of us should be condescent, you know, the way that we treat or way that we're around our families and all that. And there's people that you may not always like them all right but you know you want to probably you know be somewhat on a on a respectable respectable uh, lev uh, level all right about i guess kurt franklin using profanity i know for a fact that this is not the first time that you know he's used uh profanity now i like to say something about profane words they got profane words in the bible okay i think what damn hell uh the b word okay uh, whore, but I think that curse words, those, it should be used in the context of the Bible. And I do think that cursing should not be used when you mean it, maybe in an indirect fashion or whatever. Okay. Um, I try my hardest not to, you know, to say uh, those words, and I guess me, you know, growing up in, as, as a, you know, divine, or uh, being a, a divine man, and also, you know, coming from, you know, a praying mother and all that, uh, where I've, you know, had uh, preachers and all that stuff in my family, okay, uh, I try to use, uh, well, just say, uh, appropriate language and all that. Okay. And I've been known to be a hothead and all that. Okay. Uh, it took me pretty much years. I think, and as I get older, as I mature to be able to elaborate on how I want to, you know, handle things and all that without, um, and you know, the way that I handle myself, I'll put it like that. I think as of this year, I'm trying to have more love, uh, trying to be more, uh, compassion or, or trying to be more encouraging but you know sometimes i know i made a video about it where 
Yeah, you know, I got a little off kilter myself. Yes, I did. All right. Um, also, there, there is a time to do everything. OK, they do say in Proverbs, you know, there's a time to, go, or to reap or sow. There's a time to kill. There's a time to do certain things. And also uh, but also things are handled with order and decency. All right. Uh, they say that somewhere in the New Testament. I don't have my notes and all that. It does say honor thy mother and their uh, and thy father, but you should never provoke your children. Okay, and from what I understand, I guess in the conversation that uh, Kirk Franklin was provoked, and he was all like, "Yeah, you know, you going, you going, uh, going to respect me," and it happens to the best of us. Yes, it does. Um, what else did I want to say? Yes, it's a it's a two way street. All right. We don't know what happened. OK, maybe during their childhood or maybe they fell out over money or whatever. OK, um, man. And. I guess that's between those two uh, gentlemen there. Uh, his son is 33 years old, so he can make his own decisions or whatever. <sighs> man. I, I'm just going to speak this probably from my point of view here. Me and my father, we didn't get along, okay? I mean, we was okay when when I was younger. We was all right. Um, I was more closer to my mother. And I think in, until I got to maybe my adolescent years or whatever, you know, my father was more uh, of academics and my father was more conservative guy. I don't know, maybe I was more flashy. I was more... I was, you know, playing basketball and all that stuff, and I was neglecting my work and stuff, you know, and I think my father was getting on me uh, through my teenage years and all that stuff, okay? Uh, sometimes there was a little, uh, how can I say, dysfunction in the house, but my mom and dad, they stayed together, and my mother was a praying woman, okay? Uh, typical black family or whatever, okay? But... As far as, you know, sometimes relationships is like mo most other uh, families. And I guess it's not easy to be able to discipline a child or to be able to counsel a young child or whatever, especially, let's say, when they're getting in their adolescent years. That's when the attitudes start, you know, coming out and all that, okay? And most parents are not having it. I'm not going to have it, you know? And... But no, we had personality differences and all that stuff. And that probably got into my early 20s. And my dad had me out and all that, okay? But I do have to look at and respect that my father did, you know, help provide for me or whatever. And then, you know, he did help me, you know, get through the first years of school or whatever. But I had some growing up I had to do. And I think once I got out and I got to working and I started making a man out of myself. And when I got into the army and I think I went to war, uh, let's see in 2003. And uh, you know, I was, I was going through a divorce at the time. You know, I talked to this stuff uh, with my father and I think that he, he knew it, 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 it was his time. Uh, he passed away uh, not too long after that because I guess maybe he was realizing, you know, well, yeah, this guy started to become a man and I looked at myself or whatever and I say a lot of the stuff that my father was telling me was right, okay? But we had a very uh, similar incident uh, or relationship when I was younger between, you know, uh, me and my dad uh, or uh, based off uh, or in comparison with uh, Kirk Franklin with his son. In fact, there was a couple of standoffs actually, okay? I mean, I ne nobody never swung, but, you know, there was... Uh, a couple of a couple of uh, standoffs, just put it like that. But I think when I got about 30, 31, then I think when he started to see that, you know, I was changing, then his attitude changed or whatever, okay? And now, you know, I look at, you know, I'm as I'm getting older, I'm almost 50 now. Like I'm starting to become, a lot of my mem uh, mannerisms start to become more like my dad's and all that. I'm not going to be like my dad, but I'm, you know, more and more, conservative a lot of stuff that I did when I was younger I don't really uh, need to do let me see here
Okay. Security guard was just checking on me. Um, all right. So, yeah, uh, I just encourage you guys to be able to make peace with your family. Uh, do whatever you can, you know, to get along and, and all that. Okay. Yes. We're going to have some dysfunction in many families, especially on a lot of the, the perilous times that we're going through. And these times are going to get darker and darker, you know. So, you know, do what you can. Tell them that you love them. Because I can tell you, when they're gone, they're gone. Okay. Uh, me and my mother had some uh, disagreement or whatever, but you know, uh, my brother, but you know, I think when it comes to, uh, time with like when my brother's in most in need, uh, most in need, I'm going to, you know, I will be there to help. And in fact, I need to be calling my mother today. All right. And iron out a couple of things or whatever. So, Hey, you know, you get a chance, you know, tell your brother or tell your sister or your, your loved one, or you know, that you love her. You know, uh, do what you can not to get put in those situations or tell your parents or whatever, because when they're gone, they're gone. Like my father, you know, he's gone. Uh, he's been gone for almost 18 years now. And I wish that, you know, I could do anything to have my father back, you know, to be able to tell him some of the things that I've done and how much I've grown over the years and things that I've accomplished. And even if I'm, I'm 50 now, yes, I'm still growing. OK. I'm still growing. I got things I have to learn. I believe my learning capacity is 85%. I try to keep 10, maybe 15%, you know, because uh, for learning and changing times and all that. Yes. Yeah, I got a little bit of work to do. Yeah. All right. So that's just my take on uh, on the incident with uh, Kirk Franklin on, on his son. Uh, I think that things will, uh, maybe will be okay. You know, let's pray for this family and pray for each other. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Tell me what you think. Leave your likes, uh, shares. Check out some of my other videos. Now, thanks for watching. All right, peace.